It's just insane. Oh, such a good picture. Look at that. These are all incredible. <laughs> wow, that is breathtaking. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. How was your horses? This is a lot. This is a lot to take in. You're probably really confused right now. The, the vlog opened with something that you're probably not used to. The vlog hasn't opened up how you thought it would because it's a Monday. The 56th vlog. Today, something very special is happening. Let me see if I can break it down for you. So over the weekend, a brilliant friend of mine gave me an absolutely amazing idea. It was a massive light bulb moment for myself. And honestly, I don't know why I haven't thought of it ever before. What is this idea? You may be asking. And let me tell you. So, across the country, I have loads of friends who are really good at photography, or interested in film, or are interested in film and photography, or just like taking photos. So I thought it'd be a great idea, instead of me just going around with a camera and taking photos of trees, how about everyone else does? So I launched a nationwide photography competition where people who I know are gonna go out today and get photos between the times of 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And if they send it to me before 10 p.m., they'll get entered. Then we'll find out who is the public's favorite picture for a anonymous vote on my Instagram story. And I can't wait to see how it goes. And honestly, I can't wait to see these pictures. So there's probably a few questions you're gonna be asking. Yes, they can edit the photos on Photoshop. You can edit the photos however you want, do whatever they want with them, but it just has to be yours. You have to create it, you have to take it. It has to be created today. We can't be having photos from last year and you're only allowed to submit one photo. That, that's gonna, that's probably one of my hardest ones. And anything sent to me after 10 p.m. tonight is immediately disqualified. <coughs> Yeah, this all sounds absolutely brilliant, but wait, that's one thing I forgot to tell you. Yours one and truly, Max Roach, will be joining them, entering my own competition, and probably he's gonna get really showed up. Let's go. See, I had this really good idea for this photo I wanted to do, but it required me taking <laughs> quite a lot of gear out to this one field. If you've been around the channel for a while, you probably know that this hill has some significance, and I thought it would be the perfect setting for the photo I wanted to take. And it's safe to say, I got all the photos I wanted. I'm absolutely chuffed I managed to do this somehow. But it wasn't long until loads of people started entering the field, and I felt really awkward. So then I set down my stuff and headed back for the house. So now I'm back, and I have to edit them, so yay. <laughs> this is the breaking point, this is where it's either going to go really good or really bad. It's now time for Lightroom. I've just done my first edit of it, and it looks so stupid. It looks so, it looks so bad. I hope, I hope you're ready for this. I don't think I am, and I made it. it just... <laughs> It's stupid. It's so stupid, but do you know what? It's, it's my own competition. I don't care if I win or not, so. It was an experiment, okay? It was, <laughs> oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. Five more hours people can submit. I've already had a few in. I haven't opened them for the purpose of the video. And, yeah, uh, I'm very looking forward to this. There were some very interesting submissions on the way. It, wait. Wait, 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 wait. It's just started raining. Oh my God. I would have done such a sick photo of like, me doing like the whole like Shawshank Redemption, like ah, oh, oh. that sucks. But I'm looking forward to what people do with this. Had a good chomp at the uh, tune is. I was just sitting in it. And there you go. This is Bobby's first experience in rain, and I think he loves it. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday we ran in, picker at picking in doors. Oh, don't get wet. Look at him. <laughs> So we have Joseph Hurley, who's the first person to submit today, and wow, was I surprised. Um, it's just insane. That, that is incredible. That, that, that was a really good way to start off. So next we have Tony's. She was the second one to submit. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, look how cool it is. It's a cat. Oh, that's such a good picture. I love the warmness of it. Oh my God. Right, next we have James, and he told us, oh, green. Oh my God, wow. Look at that, it's just so clear. I think I can smell this picture. It just really, really reminds me of summer. I absolutely love it. Like the flowers coming out on the tree. Wow, great work. These are all incredible. <laughs> what? That is insane. The detail on those rocks and seaweed is just, wow, that is breathtaking. I can smell that one as well. Oh, these are all so good. Right, five minutes left. I 
I think I'm gonna get it started so we can get the voting as soon as we can. And there we go, one minute left. I don't think we're gonna get any more. This has already been crazy, so let's get it submitted and then we can finally see who's gonna be the winner. The vote is live. The vote is live. So people can now vote on my Instagram and if you want to be part of this kind of stuff later down the line when I do another one of these, go check out my Instagram, it's down below, it's, or it's easy, it's just max.roach. And who knows, you might be the deciding vote for someone to win. So now we've got 24 hours to wait. So, um, good night. <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow. It's the first vlog that spans over two days, but I'm gonna do a separate vlog tomorrow because I have something else planned. It is 24 hours later than then when that last uh, that made no English. So why is my room looking so bright today? And that means we finally have our winner. The moment you've all been waiting for, 24 hours of voting, a whole day of shooting, and finally we get our winner. And at the end of the day, everyone did absolutely amazing. So congrats to everyone who submitted. Thank you so much for taking part. So now, in third place, it's tied between Matthew Spriggs and Lauren Tuve. Congratulations, these are their two photos. Absolutely incredible work. In second place, we have Tony Crossman. Wow, what a photo this is. A beautiful cat sitting on the roof of a car. I really love it. I'm not surprised it did so well. I mean, look at it, it's gorgeous. Now it's the real moment you've been waiting for. Time for our winner. I mean, I've got a winner by 19 votes. That is incredible, you've done so well. So a massive congratulations. And I'm congratulating my good friend, Joseph Hurley. Oh my God, congrats, Joe. You did absolutely amazing. This photo is absolutely incredible. The way how you capture the light coming through the trees. Here's me talking about it with Joe. So Joe, how are you? So I'm joined here now with the winner of the competition. This is Joe Hurley. Hello. So Joe, you won the competition with this amazing photo. Uh, do you mind saying a few words about it? Give me on the screen then. Yeah, it's on the screen, like here-ish. Well, the photo was taken at Thornland Country Park and it's pretty much as you go into the country park just driving in on the right it's, just a, it's all forest as you go in sort of like that area is where it's taken pretty much the story behind it was there's a house right at the entrance and for whatever reason they decided to have a bonfire at like 10 o'clock in the morning yeah so as you as we went in there was just like smoke everywhere and I, I, that's probably against like the fire regulations in the middle of a forest to be having a bonfire <laughs> at 10 o'clock in the morning the sun wasn't like right up in the sky it was sort of at an angle the sun was like shining through the trees and hitting this smoke and it was just like lighting up yes it was pretty cool so i had my camera with me because i intended on trying to get a picture at the country park that day took a few pictures took about 10 15 just of different things got them home looked through i think that was the one that stood out the most to me because it was in portrait so talk about the other photos what other what was the other type of photos did you get was it more of the rays coming through the trees or did you get a variety um well my intention was going to forest to try and get like some wildlife so try and get pictures of like squirrels or something i didn't know what would be there just <laughs> some, like birds or squirrels yeah. or just, like in the trees or whatever because that was right as i got there that was actually the first one of the first photos i took the yeah, yeah, it kind of blew all the everything i took after that out of the water. i used the nikon dslr 3400 uh that's just one of their sort of entry level one of their smaller sensor dslr cameras one of the cheaper ones probably upgrade it at some point in the future but for now i great and the lens was the nikon 35 millimeter f1 nice. prime Ooh. lens fixed so you can't zoom on that lens with a fixed lens i find that it, you end up getting some more interesting shots because you can't you have zoom. to work around it you to, yeah. yeah you have to sort of you have to move yourself and then you find new perspectives and things like that oh, i i completely agree i believe that prime if like if you're looking to improve photography and like in terms of composition and how you see it 
I'd say probably one of the things you could do is invest in some prime lenses. Getting ones where you don't have any zoom available um, is great practice. Yeah, and also with prime lenses, they tend to be clearer because mm. there's less like glass elements in there. Um, so as well as winning the photography competition, you also won quick draw. So congratulations, Joe. Uh, you're basically been bossing the quarantine period. Uh, still waiting on prize. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm still waiting to figure out what I'm going to get you. I have no idea. I'm sure I'll find something by the time lockdown's over. Uh, as always. And um, yeah, we'll see if you can get the treble in the next challenge. It might be coming very soon. Thanks, Joe. Right, bye. So yeah, that's the second win for Joe. He also won the quick draw. He's absolutely smashing it out of the park with these quarantine challenges. So without further ado, thank you for watching. Today's been a pretty crazy video. And as always, if you liked it, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and check out further videos. So without further ado, I'll be Max Roach, and good night.